recording in progress i always like when it says that so i know what the hell i'm talking about and i can start doing what i'm doing hey patrick hey. kelly how are you hey i'm Preeti with zoom i'm good how are you Preeti, i am a distinguished architect uh, at zoom what do you do at zoom I'm a solutions engineer, and that's just a fancy way of saying that uh, I assist the account team from a tech perspective, you know, technical perspective. So customers have questions. I know Zoom is easy to use, but you'd be surprised. Um, customers come up with like complicated technical questions, and uh, I try to help answer them. And when I can't, I go to somebody like you. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I love that you think I know the answers to these things. Uh, I was I was once a, a solutions engineer as well for a number of years, and uh, uh, as as a distinguished architect, you're right. I I kind of oversee uh, some of the maybe the bigger scope discussions, and and one of the things. First of all, did you know you're my very first guest I've ever had on one of these shows? I am so honored. Look at that. This is the start of something new. Maybe, uh, you you know, this will be something you continue. You become uh -huh. uh, the famous Patrick Kelly YouTube uh, broadcaster. <laughs> First of all, I'm not even the most famous guy in my house. I have like three <laughs> dogs and That's four boys. <laughs> and I'm like the lowest or on the, on the totem pole. Oh, but, uh, I have to I, come on here to boost my ego. You know, I've got two dogs and uh, the order in my house is my dog bandit. It actually, uh, the ball is the most important thing in the house because both dogs love the ball. So it's the yeah. ball first. Then it's my dog, Izzy, who loves the ball. Then it's my dog, Bandit, who is obsessed with Izzy. And then it's my husband and then it's me. So I'm yeah. the lowest in my house as well. I, I feel the pain. I actually have... I'm working on a light internet today because I live uh, close to Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, the the hurricane is coming through, and we're supposed oh. to get about seven inches of rain today, so they have forced all the kids to be e-learning, uh, so they're sucking up all my bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That, well, I'm glad you guys are uh, safe, and it's. Uh, I think uh, it's just going to be a bad storm, hopefully, for you guys. Hopefully. So yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully that's all it is and uh, we can we can get through it uh oh my gosh what you look at this look at this new cool tool i got it's called prezi look you see my little zoom on the top left hand corner i love this tool because i can pull in cool slides on the fly look at this Whoa. there we go right that's very cool it just appeared so so you just yeah. make any uh is that just an image that you're yeah, you just pull in an image, you can, and uh, and then you can have a, like a, a dynamic slide presentation. Like, hey, you have any questions? Look at that. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Oh, I have to get that from you. So, it's a uh, third-party app integration, or how does that work? Check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna bring in the wheel. This is our brand new wheelie. I'm sure you've seen it, Preeti. It's been all over the place. One yeah. of the coolest things on this wheel is this pink part and Zoom mm -hmm. development part because we have an amazing ecosystem for open APIs and SDKs where we allow partners to really write code to literally any platform of ours, whether it's audio or video or chat. And, and one of our partners, Prezi, uh, literally has written a, a code that we can pull in kind of this OBS type of fashion where we can overlay mm -hmm. graphics on top of our presentation. So instead of just using like Google Slides or PowerPoint, you can have these live interactions and pull in pulling these cool things. Look at this, like user adoption. I have these discussions with customers about that. And that way it keeps them more engaged. But again, it just showcases one of the things that we do really well at Zoom is, is API and Zoom development. And by the way, I don't know if you know this, but I brought you in to talk about one of these cool little parts of the wheel. And that is the very far right side where it says Zoom IQ for sales. This is one of our newest products. And I gotta be honest with you, pretty. I I don't know it as well as I probably should. So I'm going to uh, recruit you to teach me what Zoom IQ is for sales. You know, before we go there, can I just say love the colors on the wheel? Right. <laughs> yeah, but the last time, there was a bunch of icons. They went with they went with some nice pastel colors there. Very, yeah, <laughs> as it does. It has got a very good spring feel to it. Doesn't it? like a rejuvenation. It I'm not marketing. I just made that term up. I don't know if that's really real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Cool. All right. Um, yeah, do my cue for sales. That's uh that's one of the, you know, one of our uh, uh tools that has been added to our platform. Um, it's basically our conversational AI product. What it allows you to do is um if you have a Zoom meeting that's been recorded, that's been recorded with Zoom IQ, okay. it is able to analyze the conversation and provide some useful feedback for uh for example for a sales team and for sales supervisors where they can look at a conversation at a high level and very quickly determine what the conversation was about again at a high level what were some of the topics that were discussed um how well did the speaker uh perform for example things like it's it has a lot of metrics um uh, what is your talk listen ratio did you ask good questions and it also has a number of other features like integration with Salesforce and things like that. So Zoom IQ for Sales is the first of several modules that I believe that Zoom is going to um, probably come out with. Again, you know, this is this is something that uh, is being looked at. So Zoom IQ, right now we have it for sales, but in the future we might have Zoom IQ for healthcare. We might have Zoom IQ for financial services. So Based on what the conversation is about, if it was healthcare, if it was sales, you know, you have conversational analytics um, for that particular topic, essentially. So that's kind of at a high level. I'm sure you heard. What are your thoughts on Zoom IQ? Yeah, and this is I I I noticed we had obviously a couple of months ago, I believe we've had, we've had it for, for a few months. And now I, I see that it is really zoom IQ for sales, which targets a demographic for sales. And I understand that because who's trying to make the most calls, right? Who's making the, who's has the most meetings yeah. with these external people who is driving revenue would be the, the part. Exactly. And there's, there's an underlying motivation for having this technology is that listen, as a salesperson, you're, you have one job, right? Right. You have one job. Your job is to sell something, whatever it is. It might be zoom, right? It might be tractor supplies, whatever it is. You are talking to people all day long. At least hopefully you are. Mm -hmm. And as a manager, or as you were trying to learn, you're like, how do I become better at my craft? Right? Cause the better I become at my craft, guess what happens? The better I become at my job, the more revenue I make for the company. So yeah. motivationally, Somebody, every every enterprise, even SMB and major markets, would see a benefit from analyzing every single sales call you are. That's the whole goal, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, we are sort of reluctant to record and review our conversations, right? Nobody wants to sort of watch themselves talk and relive a conversation that you have with the customer. But this could be a little bit um, helpful in a sense that you could just look at it at a high level and say, wow, did I only ask one good question in that conversation? You know, and for a sales supervisor, perhaps they could look at it and say, oh, look, Patrick asked four good questions. And then you'd look at the deal and perhaps the deal closed. And what are the questions that Patrick asked in this call? Maybe I could you you know, use that to coach the rest of the team and say, hey, how about you ask these additional questions? I've noticed that you only ask one question mm -hmm. and you're not engaging the customer enough, right? So yeah. it just helps. Um, it just helps the sales supervisor or even yourself. I like to use it just to analyze my own conversations. Yeah. I have a bad habit sometimes of uh, using a lot of filler words. I use a lot of, mm, uh, sure, sure. and then, I do a lot of monologuing like I'm doing right now, right? So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just helps uh, kind of to give me some idea of how well I did in the conversation and improve my own performance. So I really just view this as, as a coaching tool for yeah. you as an individual. Again, honing your craft to be a better almost presenter in a way, but a better speaker, a better salesperson. And uh, it, it, some, it can be a little humbling at times because you start seeing things that you never knew you did. Right. Did I actually, you was using uh sales IQ the other day and I didn't realize how many times I used the word actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause it's a filler word actually, actually. literally actually. let's look at this. Like these are filler words that 
we don't need that. I never realized I said until I reviewed, reviewed my IQ analytics. So just simple yeah. things like that to make us better presenters. And let's be honest, when we're in sales, we're presenting ideas and theories and functions. That's our whole job. We are presenting. And this is all it's going to do is make you a better presenter. But yeah, we want to put our best foot forward, right? This isn't about, I know that we had, um, we'd spoken to a customer that uh, it, it had a, at a at head of HR who had some concerns about a tool like this, for example, are, you know, is this too much of corporate overreach where we are analyzing every single conversation that you have, we're, we're trying to provide you feedback, coaching, we're spying on you. That's not what this is intended for at all, right? No. It, it's really not the technology that's good or bad. It's really about how you use the technology. Technology can be used for a lot of positive things, providing positive coaching, positive feedback to your um, team, just helping your team and say, hey, you know, try slowing down a little bit when you speak or perhaps speed up a little bit or yeah. or use, um, you know, these uh, other questions, ask these other questions, just providing constructive, positive feedback um, I think this this too is good for that. So I'd love to, I'd love to show the audience what it what it looks like and, okay. and certainly mm -hmm. how it goes through. I, I know from an overview, right? Every time we join a Zoom meeting or or a Zoom call, we can enable IQ through recording. Is right is what it does. It it records that conversation and then uses some sort of AI algorithm to figure out all this transcribe and transcription of this of the word flow. And then gives you all those analytics, and I'm assuming it presents in some sort of dashboard. So I'd love yeah. to see what it what it looked like if you could. Yeah, absolutely. Let me share my screen here, and you let me know if you can see my screen. I just can minimize this and move this out of the way. So, um, like so details. In, it looks like you're just pulling it right in the same portal as everything else in Zoom. Exactly. Just like every other product that we have at Zoom, everything is built right into our platform, into our portal. You log into the admin portal. And if you have the license assigned to you for Zoom IQ, mm -hmm. then you will see this link pop up here, Zoom IQ for sales. And all of your options are right here. Now, I want to just, before we go too far down the road here. I just want to mention that the analytics are available for Zoom meetings, obviously, but they're also available for uh, phone conversations, Zoom phone conversations, uh, meaning that you're able to analyze Zoom phone conversations. Uh, it can also integrate with your calendar and email and uh, like I mentioned, Salesforce. So when you look at a deal, you have all of the interactions with the customer associated with that deal, whether they're Zoom meetings, Zoom phone, emails, calendar appointments, everything is in one place for you to look at. And, and that's an important part point that you're making is that <clears throat> probably the biggest CRM uh, solution today in the world is Salesforce, right? I believe 40 something percent of the world utilize Salesforce as their CRM. And when you're a salesperson, if you were a salesperson in, the, in this industry for any length of time, you know your job is to one obviously have conversations with customers but two make sure you document all those conversations with customers and that's an amazing ability that we can do with not only zoom phone integrated in salesforce which is another conversation but zoom iq because it's a very important part we're pulling all those analytics and, and data and, and conversations into this into this me mechanism we certainly want that reflected in our crm solution absolutely absolutely um it has a strong integration with our Salesforce uh, instance over here. I'm going to I'm going to talk through this, uh, but over here on the right hand side, as you can see, the Salesforce opportunity, we call that an, an opportunity in Salesforce is noted here as a deal in mm -hmm. Zoom IQ. So this is the opportunity that this particular recording is related to. So here's the deal and it gives you the company info, what stage the deal is in and the deal size and some basic information. So, so there's a number of fields that we can pull in from Salesforce right. into Zoom IQ. So then again, you have that single view right here from within the platform. 
and that creates an efficient model, right, for data entry mm -hmm. and data collection, data retrieval, is that users and salespeople aren't having to put all this information in two different repositories. So really, really slick stuff there. Absolutely. So if you look at this deal, see the customer name, um, and as I stated, the all the customer contacts are right here, right? This one that we're looking at right now, I'll just have to mention before we go forward, is that uh, this is just a, a mock environment that we have, This uh, where we did this recording um, just for the purpose of demos. And sure. uh, myself and a couple of other SCs got together and did this recording. Lucas Johnson referred to uh, Lucas Johnson that you see here who was one of our SCs that uh, uh, pretended to be an account manager. And then Adam was the uh, actual customer uh, in this mock recording. And then I was an SC. I played myself. In yeah. this <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, congratulations. Well done. You did close the deal one. So well. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this is all fake. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is just a mock recording that we use. And as you can see here, when I clicked on the deal, I can see that there was a meeting here on April 29th, followed by a phone conversation here, uh, which you can uh, click on and look at, and then followed by another meeting as well here. And then you could see that the deal was closed one, right? And that is, you can open up this timeline, gives you a nice pretty graph here that shows all of the the in interactions in a in a nice timeline if you wanted to gotcha. you know, do some screenshots and some reporting. But I wanted to, let's go back here. And this is, you know, under the Zoom IQ for sales, there is a conversational a conversations link. And this is where all of your recorded conversations reside. And I just wanted to talk through some of the analytics that are available here. Okay. So Obviously here uh, in the top, well, what you see is um, uh, uh, what you see is the actual recording of the entire conversation. There is Nancy, who is our lovely uh, Zoom uh, SE, um, who uh, was uh, acting as Lucas Johnston, the um, account manager. And then we had in here, you'll also see Adam. Um, again, he's another SE uh, and myself. So. Um, yeah, so as you move the cursor here uh, uh, along this um, this timeline, yeah. you'll see that ZoomIQ has identified different topics. So first over here, you see that there was a conversation for about two minutes about Zoom phone, um, a general discussion. And then here's this like eight minute long conversation or a nine minute long conversation about a person named Darlene. So this is you know, this is something that a supervisor can look at and say, hey, wait a minute, why did you spend that much time talking about a person named Darlene? What's what's going on here? Yeah. Um, you know, you were supposed to be talking about what the customer wants in a phone system, et cetera. And you spent about, let's say, two minutes talking about that. Obviously, maybe this is of some interest. You can look at the transcript. You can play this recording and see what this was about for real. And then of, of course, there's a, a little bit of a, a wrap up here. That's super so. cool. I, I see we call that function smart chapters and, and we're using this this transcription and AI ability to to dis, dis delineate all these different sections. So you could quickly go to that section and, as being effective as possible and efficient as possible and, and follow that discussion. That's fantastic. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, down here, you see the different smart chapters. Um, you can also, uh, that's just that, you know, you've got a couple of options here. You can look at um, participants. So here's Lucas Johnson, and this is uh, his, his, the analytics of his speech in this conversation. So what you can do is um, look at these different metrics that we have here. And if you hover over these, these metrics, you can, it, a Zoom IQ gives you kind of a, a guideline as to what's recommended, what sort of a, you know, hey, take a little bit of note here, look at your talk, listen, talk little, listen ratio might be a little uh, concerning or a caution is when you just talked all the time and didn't let anybody else speak, right? <laughs> so uh, talk, listen ratio here is 40%, which is, which is great. And then filler words, uh, we don't like to use a lot of filler words in our conversation, but some is good. It makes the speech more natural. Sure. I love that. I love, I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Talk speed, 180 words a minute. So I tend to talk fast sometimes, especially yeah. when I'm... Sure, sure. This is yeah. great. Yeah, these are... 
the, the, the longest spiel is my my always my red one, Preeti. <laughs> <laughs> that's for all of our SDs when we're presenting, though, right? Yeah, uh, we just yeah. keep talking and talking and talking, and then. And then sometimes you're on a Zoom meeting where everybody has video off and then you have no idea whether anybody's listening, falling asleep, yeah. went to walk the dog, no idea. <laughs> and, and something cool that I, I love, and I know it's a simple thing, but I can, as I'm going through the participants list and I may be a manager, and I'm, I might not be familiar with everybody in the meeting, and I can immediately tell who is external to that meeting right there. It's, it's a really cool little feature. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And then you can also, if you want, you can uh, play that portion of the conversation. If you just wanted to listen to what the customer said right here, you can just play that portion of the conversation and uh, you'll be able to just listen to that piece. Yeah, right? fantastic. It's just, the UI is really laid out very, very well. Uh, it's yeah. very intuitive and very simple. I know that Zoom's mantra is simplicity and frictionless uh, uh, in all modalities but this was this is really really well done yeah it's just really simple no nonsense you know we're not blasting you with uh, overwhelming amount of analytics we're giving you some high level information here that you can use uh, it, you know i would look at this and say oh i spoke too fast i need to slow down a little bit i need to use fewer filler words you know right. or maybe i need to speak a little faster right so yeah. That's it. I could just take a look at these analytics. Now, after the call has been recorded, and again, like you mentioned before, Patrick, I want to be very clear for our audience here, is that when you have Zoom IQ when, uh, enabled uh, on your account, um, you want to make sure that you're recording the calls with Zoom IQ, right? So there's you still have the ability to record the call without Zoom IQ, um, or you can record with Zoom IQ. So if you do that, that's when you get all of these analytics. Right. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, uh, it's it's a really uh, it's a tool that I didn't know I needed until after I had it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's one exactly. of those things. Yeah, it's just uh, one more thing in your arsenal, right? If you want to just improve your conversation, I and you know I always am looking for ways to improve my presentation skills, my speaking mm. skills, and I think this uh, just helps a little bit. Yeah, it's just fantastic. And in fact, I I uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, I, I, Zoomtopia, by the way, is, is coming up November 8th and, and 9th, and I, and I have the privilege of speaking at, uh, at Zoomtopia this year. Uh, one of the, the requirements is that we were supposed to go through a, a presentation coach, and, uh, yeah. and this is another example of, hey, this is really a presentation coach. You can literally use this just for you, right, and, and you alone. Yeah. You don't have to mm -hmm. share it with your manager and all that stuff. You can just use this to make yourself better. It's that simple. Exactly. Under coaching, there's a couple of options here. So as a uh, team manager or a sales supervisor, I can do uh, something called create uh, scorecards. I'll show you how to create a scorecard later. These questions that you see in the scorecard, um, you can customize these. So you can create these scorecards with questions. And then what you can do for uh, each conversation that you are uh, reviewing, you could assign a scorecard and you could rate, um, you know, rate the answers here. So how engaging was the seller? Mm -hmm. How interested was the buyer? So this is a very quick way to provide some feedback to your team if you like. Fantastic. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd get scared if I had a 3.3, .3, but it <laughs> gives me the opportunity to be a better salesperson. Yeah, this again, this was a, a mock recording, so we were trying to be a little uh, goofy in this uh, sure. in this sure. recording, and uh, we weren't uh, we weren't very good at selling anything to the customer <laughs> in this recording. We were doing things like talking over each other. What yeah. we tried to do is intentionally trip some of the analytics, right, uh, right. to see how well it uh, it picks up. Oh, yeah, no. easily viewable, easily easily digestible mm -hmm. information, and you can at a glance figure out what's going on. So that's well done. Yeah. yeah. So on the right hand side here, conversation summary, engagement, and a sentiment score. So the engagement score here uh, again, it gives you like what's recommended, etc. When you hover over it, you can click here and you can try to get more. You know, learn more. Mm -hmm. It takes you to a website, gives you more information about these analytics. Um, engagement score is really based on all of these metrics here. It, it comes up with some, some 
kind of uh, formula that it uses and it determines what the overall engagement score is. So now um, all of these analytics and things are based on industry research that uh, Zoom has done. Yeah. Um, so uh, do you remember uh, the company that uh, Zoom acquired that does our AI mm -hmm. analytics? Yeah. Um, yeah, Kites, I think. It's yep. called. We are, yeah, we've got it. We got a few of them, and we just get that Solvi for contact center as That's well. True. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Zoom's getting diving deep into into AI for this reason alone to literally make machine learning AI business analytics to make yourself better. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, engagement score is based on some of these metrics here, and then the sentiment score is based on whether the customer used or uh, whether there were any like, like positive words that were used during the conversation. So yeah. sentiment score of fifty, you know, neutral. Yeah, right. if the customer used a lot of uh, positive words. Um, if uh, you know they were really engaged, you get a better sentiment score. Sure. So you know, just okay. a quick again quick high level, you don't have to listen to the entire recording, take a very quick look here, what are all the things that were discussed, the topics, look at the actual conversation uh, metrics here, and then you can look at the scores here. Okay. You can also, uh, you can also look at uh, what were some of the questions that were asked, right? Um, for example, if I just clicked on it and took me right to the transcript here. So let me show you. So you have some additional tabs here on the top right. Here's the full transcript of the conversation is under the content tab. And then when I clicked on good questions, it took me right to the part where uh, Zoom IQ thought a question was asked. Oh, understood, yeah. Yeah, all transcribed right from the video. And, and, and then you can mm -hmm. search this whole transcription, right? Real time. Yeah, absolutely, and, and... absolutely. You can search for any words for example, a competitor, mm -hmm. right? What was that mentioned? That also is something that you can, uh, is uh, in the call out section. So competitors mentioned, it takes you right to where any competitors were mentioned. And these are configurable, by the way. So sure. Zoom competitors could be Cisco, could be Microsoft. We have that configured here in the system. So it is looking for those keywords uh, in the transcript and it can um, take you right to where, um, take you right to where uh, the competitor was mentioned so it's a good way for you to look at that understood yeah fantastic that's that's really well done and really easily to, to find exactly what conversation and where you're you're going with it and, and so as a manager as you are yourself you want to be like hey i think i said that during the meeting and you don't have to listen you don't have to watch that whole video to get right to the spot and, and start doing some analyzation perfect great that's awesome yeah Comments, if you wanted to just add a comment here, you can just, um, you know, you, you can uh, tag the person that you're trying to uh, send the comment to and, you know, um, that you part, can just, yeah. yeah, so actually, I think that uh, in this portion of right here in the, uh, you know, I had my uh, time bar here at the two minutes, 19 seconds, so I, uh, when I made the comment here, it was for well, that particular portion of the uh -huh. conversation. So, um, and then, you know, if I'm reviewing this comment, I can just right. hit play. And yeah. uh, it'll take me right to the part where, you know, uh, it, it's really just referencing that portion of the conversation is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, good, good, simple comments as a coach to clarify and uh, mm -hmm. points, good or bad, right? And to highlight what uh, what you're looking at. Perfect, golly, this thing keeps getting better. Yeah, I, I can create clips of the conversation, and if I wanted to share uh a, the clip, um, uh, I can just add it to a playlist, and then uh, people can go through the playlist. So, for example, let's say that I thought Adam in this uh, conversation had a really good question, for example, mm -hmm. or some really good feedback. I could create a clip of that particular portion of the conversation, add it to a playlist, and that playlist can be reviewed by the team as part of your training, part of your coaching. Again, what this allows you to do as a sales leader is to create consistency across the team. You know, you know perhaps you wanna say, ask these few questions or uh, these are the uh, sort of the, 
the winning sort of words to use. I don't right. know, whatever it is, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want to create some consistency across the team and you want to say, these, this is how we'd like to address these objections, for example, in sales, you come up, you know, people add, object to what you're trying to sell all the time. And here's a good response to an objection, for example, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's a great, a great idea. Mm -hmm. Cool. What, well, I mean, this thing is huge. And this is just one part of, of this. I mean, yeah. it keeps it keeps going. Yeah, uh, um, you, you got, uh, let's see, um, last 90 days again, this is a demo environment. So, okay, so here's all like the, the different deals. Uh, so this is, so if you have a Zoom IQ license, a license assigned to your account in Zoom and you've got a Salesforce integration, then it's going to pull down all of the deals that you're associated with in Salesforce. It's gonna pull that in here, right? So. Um, and, it, and so you can, um, you can, when you have a conversation with the customer, it automatically assigns that to the deal. Okay. Understood. Yeah. So it makes it, mm -hmm. makes it perfectly easy. Cause again, as, as a salesperson, you, you have a, a certain territory, right. Within Salesforce and you, all your customers are right there that I can pull all those in right from that mm -hmm. CRM integration without having, again, to, to redo work. It makes it, makes it really, really effective. Yeah, absolutely. And then take a look at this. So under the analytics tab, uh, you can see uh, your entire team, if you like, right? I've got all teams selected here. And number of conversations. So Lucas Johnson has had nine conversations. Craig's had six. So I could see high level report for the entire team. Conversation duration. How's the team doing, right? Yeah. Uh, 21 minutes based on three conversations. This is uh, 19 minutes. Who's not speaking up enough? Four conversations and Amelia has only spoken for about three minutes yep, in, yep. in that conversation. Let's look at talk listen ratio. This is a fun one. This is the one where, um, you know, uh, recommended is 40 to 70% and talk listen ratio to Dave Anderson is at 100%. So somebody that maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my ratio, really, so let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's all of us SBs, right? Um, oh, fantastic. I love, I love the recommended uh, range. It's immediately, yeah. uh, again, as a manager, you can immediately discern who was talking too much or who was talking too little and, and where we should be at uh, just for really visual feedback, just really without having to dig into too many numbers. Exactly. Talking speed, all of those metrics that we saw earlier under the conversation. So yep. you can uh, report, you know, this is just a nice way of looking at it for the entire team. Yeah, exactly. That's really, really well done. Filler words, longest spiel, patience. Let's Craig look at went it. on a Craig went on a soapbox <laughs> on that one, didn't he? <laughs> on <that spiel. laughs> uh, sentiment score. So, who's getting the best sentiment scores here? You know, again, these are these analytics are great, um, but you also obviously you know your team best. Right. Yep. So they yep. help you um, kind of uh, look at things from a high level. But obviously you want to listen to the conversation. You want to, uh, you, you know, your team, like I said, and you use this along with your own uh, judgment and, uh, you know, uh, um, make the best use of the tool. That That's fantastic. Yeah, those are those are super effective, well laid out, easily mm -hmm. digestible, easily discernible, and, and I can get quick information very, very effectively uh, just by looking at uh, so obviously some linear bar graphs right there. Yeah. Let me just take you through one more really quick. Um, this was another conversation that we recorded. Let's see. Um. This was a, a, a follow-up conversation from the, the previous conversation. This was recorded just recently. And so it has some additional features that uh, that came out. So I like this. So now you have with Zoom IQ an entire conversation summary. Okay. So I can click on it and it, it has analyzed the entire conversation and given you at a high level what this conversation was about. Lucas is an account executive, Adam is director. 
They have a problem with their phone system, for example. And Adam's company has to be an outside company to service phone system. Um, Luke, and then uh, closing of next steps. Lucas and Preeti will meet Adam uh, next Friday, 3 p.m. to talk about proof of concept. So uh, a really great summary here that you can copy, you can save it if you want. Now, again, this is Zoom IQ's analysis of the conversation. If you don't think this is right, for example, here my name is spelled wrong. Um, I don't blame the system for that. It is not easy to spell. So I can just correct it. Any, this is any super powerful. This is you're using AI to analyze the conversation, the conversation and then create a whole summary oh, so right. you can easily see, hey, what's this conversation about? Because you're obviously when you're talking to Grand Hotel, you're you're having 50, 100 different sales uh, meetings during that sales cycle. And sometimes you don't really remember what that meeting's about. You definitely don't want to watch the meeting all over again. So this this is a great new tool. Yep, exactly. And in this particular conversation, you know, we had well-defined next steps, right? And I think in the previous example that I showed, um, again, that was an example of like how to have a really bad conversation and lose a customer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. To it. Uh, we were talking about, some fictionary individual named Darlene and about baby seals, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably so, not uh, a this, very, very good conversation. To have. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, this was more professional, and uh, it, it has some of the good highlights as far as uh, next steps. And uh, let's see, a whole bunch of things in the conversation that came up as next steps, good questions. We are, we looked at this critical items, objections. Let's take a look at that. See, here's an objection. We had guests complain that the calls aren't being answered, um, doesn't know how to operate the phone system correctly. With Zoom, you wouldn't have to worry about that. So this is a little bit of objection handling. Sure, right? and a so training opportunity, yeah. yeah. It has uh, found that and, uh, you know, um, again, good coaching tool. Wow. Uh, I'm super impressed. I thought I knew a lot about it, Preeti, but I learned a lot more today than I ever knew. Or and maybe it highlights that I need to maybe have more conversations with my SE team on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, this is... I could see how useful this could be for literally sales uh, managers, sales leaders, sales people, uh, and, and it's uh, it's impressed me. It certainly has. Uh, and and you know what? I want to thank you for your time. This is the very first, uh, I guess, Patrick Kelly show that I've ever done with somebody. It's just usually me blathering to myself. Uh, so I, I thank you and and uh, for your for your time and your effort in putting putting this all together. Oh, of course, you're very welcome. I, I had fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you for having me on. I'm so honored to be your first guest. Hopefully, <laughs> you I'm hopefully I'm getting invited back on the show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll have to do some updates during the time. Like, hey, Patrick, look at all this new stuff we didn't talk about last time. So our, our audience can kind of keep up. Absolutely. With so so uh, happy Friday uh, or whenever <laughs> you're watching this video. Uh, I, I, I wanted to say I, I enjoyed doing this sort of uh, this forum. I have never done it like this before. And I think it inspires me to do this again. And maybe I can invite not only you, but other SCs that are far more technical and far more knowledgeable at some of the those modalities within the wheel uh, that uh, I don't know about or I know about at a very high level. And we need to kind of dig into those. So appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs>